oof, that like morning grogginess. It's funny, it's not even that early in the morning. It's 10 o'clock. I just slept in and woke up and I'm like, we gotta go do our wheels. So what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, yeah, this is gonna happen. So I need to figure out how that is gonna go in there. <clears throat> Good thing is there's a lot of room in here. Somewhat. So I think I'm gonna put the tires in first. And I'm probably gonna put two boxes in there and then I'm gonna put two boxes in the trunk of my car. So it barely fits in here with just a little bit more snug room. Like it's pretty snug. I'm gonna put the other two in my car. No. Uh, do you mind? Are they gonna fit? I mean, you're gonna, you're not gonna. Yeah, I think this is enough, right? I could probably put another one in there if I tried. That's funny. It's a lot cleaner with the white LEDs. All right, so we're pretty much ready to go. She is good. Just making sure she was able to see through the rear mirror. And uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I do hate how my hair is because it's really long from the top, but whatever, it's, my, it's, it's how I wake up. So we're gonna go ahead and get it mounted and we're gonna go ahead and then we'll do a walk around in it. So don't skip ahead. home we're gonna go and take off the stock wheels and put them in the back of the of my house of my apartment and then we're gonna go around and take some pictures of this and I'm gonna show you guys how the wheels look on this car So these are the wheels I got on the car. Uh, these are Enki TS fives. Uh, these are 18 by nine and a half. I went with 255 by 35. 18s obviously. And this is how it looks. Let me swap that up. Side of the car. Here's the front. I ended up going with a gloss finish, gloss black, uh, because I feel like the gloss black really matched the front and the accents of the bumper. I was looking into matte black, but I think gloss black, gloss black just really gives it a good touch like ah, I really am excited I got these wheels uh, tire wise these aren't the tires I mainly wanted I ended up going with Goodyear tires some Eagle uh, F1s I believe that's what they're called again 255 by 35 and these are all season tires go 255 or 35 18 the reason why i went with uh all season tires again is because i got these for really cheap the tires that i originally wanted were probably like six seven hundred bucks i got these shipped to my house for like 350 for all four so i know i was talking smack about the stock tires not being how i wanted it to be because they're all season they're not going to perform but i'm not really like pushing any power i'm not really 
like I'm just daily in this to working back you know so for right now these are gonna have to do and plus because they were so cheap I mean 350 for all four and like ship it's not bad um, I got them off of eBay I just looked up 255 or 35 I went through the cheapest settings and I went with tires that were somewhat recognizable but weren't like Lionheart or something but in, like I said in the meantime this is getting the job done I really wanted to see how this looked in person I really do like the tire size that I chose I almost almost went 265 but everybody and their mom likes running 255 on these cars as you can see it pokes out just a little bit right here in the rear and then in the front let me straighten out the wheels for you guys this is how it looks like in the front when they're all when they're all pretty much out there's about maybe a finger gap right here maybe a finger gap right here i feel like this is low enough this is perfect for me anything lower i probably would have had to start running the camber kit i'll get into that in just a moment but looking at it from the front like it pokes a decent amount but the main question do i rub i do not this is how it looks like in the front So, there she is, boys. This is how the car looks. This is how she sits. Now I gotta get rid of that exhaust, but within time. Now, a lot of people were, and I did some research, a lot of people were saying you don't need a rear camera kit on this car. Um, when you're lowered on Ebox Springs or D2 that they've been running it for miles and miles and miles tens of thousands with D2 and Ebox Sport Lines but you will get uneven camber wear so if you look at it from this side this side's a little bit more negative cambered when you look at it on this side this one's like less is this how my camera specs were when I got my alignment done, when I got the uh, springs on, I had them rearrange the alignment. So I'm gonna have them tweak with the stock alignment, how it is, uh, that way I can be even. And then eventually I'll probably end up getting some Ebok rear camera arms just to have everything match. Quick story about these wheels, Enki TS5s. These were the wheels I wanted to get back in the day when I had my Scion TC. Uh, a lot of you guys know, a lot of you guys don't know, but I used to have a 2012 Scion TC way before I had my Black Civic. Uh, that car got totaled. Um, I was pretty much ready to boost it. And this was way before YouTube too. Like, I don't know why I didn't start YouTube back in the day with that car. I didn't start until my Black 8th Gen. But I was pretty much ready to boost it. But then I was like, you know, do I buy a turbocharger for it or do I buy wheels? My lady said, you know what, give it some time. Um, and on my birthday the car got totaled and these were the wheels that were on the list for that car I always talked about getting RPF ones. I always talked about getting Graham light 57 DRs um, The C820 CE28. I think that's what they're called some other race and then um, Wet wet sport wheels What else Volk T37s like those are all amazing wheels, but I feel like these wheels are so overlooked a lot of people don't really get them um, because a lot of people prefer more spokes on these kind of cars which more spokes do look good but these five spoke wheels look i think just look amazing just as amazing on this car um, i do need to give her a good wash that way everything's all cleaned up and ready to go because as you guys remember the last couple days here in SoCal has been windy as hell but like I said I was looking into those other wheels but I got lucky with these ones I got these off of kseriesparts.com I think that's the rules that's where I got it from and they were all 25% off 
each wheel so originally these tires caught these wheels cost 300 and like 60 some maybe a little bit less i got these for 256 dollars a rim so overall i paid like 1050 for all four now that's a no-brainer i was looking at the gram lights and i was looking at like 15 1600 bucks and the specs and size that i wanted and the color they were sold out so i settled for these ones i remember i saw these pictures on the website and i said you know what i remember these i'm gonna pick these up for the car and that's what i did so again i feel like these ankies are so overlooked um everybody always goes with what the flow is but considering everybody and their mom has gram lights and they look amazing gram lights look amazing on this car they just flow with it but something about these wheels don't worry about the car the car is dirty but something about these wheels just i feel like they just they smack they look really really good and again i don't rub i am lowered on ebox sport lines for those of you that are new to the channel for those of you that don't watch it <laughs> but i was gonna get d2 but then sport lines i feel like they were perfect because they're not as low as d2 what is next for the car honestly the front is not as aggressive i mean the biggest thing i like about these cars are the front i love how the fronts look but to make it more aggressive i'm gonna need to start looking into a lip now the lip that i want is the Gretti carbon fiber lip but that's like six seven hundred bucks i could buy my intercooler i could buy my exhaust i could buy something you know like with that money you could buy something else so i'm probably going to be get, looking into my other options that are out there just so i can make the front look a little bit better but before i get the lip the car is pretty quiet i'm going to be looking into getting an exhaust as you guys know in the eighth gen and in the k-series platform full race exhaust has been my go-to and has always been my top recommended for people asking what have you done to it what do you recommend something loud something good and everything else they just released not too long ago the full race exhaust for the 10th gen now i have yet to hear any sound clips but it's full race i know it's gonna sound good so i'm most likely gonna be looking into the full race exhaust I'm going to be contacting them, seeing if they have any sound clips, because I really want to hear it in person before I pull the trigger. Get something going with this car, because this car is way too quiet right now. Um, after the exhaust, I am going to be getting the intercooler from PRL, because it is carb legal. And I'm not doing it because it is carb legal. I am doing it because it does not need a tune. Uh, the 271 is something I really wanted to get because of the black intercooler. But I might settle with the PRL one, or maybe the 271 doesn't need a tune. I have to look it up. I could be wrong, but the 27, the PRL intercooler does not need a tune, and I'm going to be getting that as well. After I get my exhaust, intercooler, and the lip, then I'll start looking into K tuner. That way, I can get the K tuner, the front pipe, and the down pipe all at the same time. I don't want to get some K tuner now if I don't need it yes i know it's gonna wake up the car but for everybody asking why i haven't gotten k tuner yet is because i'm enjoying the car as it is right now i love how it is i'm not power hungry i drove an na civic for the last five years this is a huge upgrade for me so this is enough power for me for right now i'm not saying i'm not gonna get k tuner i will get k tuner just that like i said i'm gonna enjoy how it is right now for a bit i want to let the clutch uh, last a little bit longer because I am going to be looking into replacing the clutch as well now I do have a lot of options for this car. I am going to be doing things a little bit different um, I don't really want to go with what everybody's getting so I'm going to be building it my own way and We shall see how everything turns out So yeah guys, these are the wheels that I got for my 10th gen 2020 Civic Si again 18 by nine and a half Maybe 38 i'll have to look it up I'll, I'll 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 fix it right here anyways as always thank you all for tuning in a lot of the stuff i've been doing to this car so early is because of you guys for your guys' support i've been able to um pretty much start building my own franchise little by little i do have something in the works behind scenes but i don't want to make any announcements yet so we shall see how that goes and if everything turns out well 
you guys will be the first to know so thank you all for watching the videos if you guys like this video please hit the like button if you're new to the channel please subscribe that way you guys can see my journey with this 10th gen si thank you for everything i'll see you guys in another video you guys have a good day peace